Hi, my name is Ishe and welcome to The Point at Southern. Here at The Point we offer very spacious, fully furnished units with all-inclusive rates. With more amenities than you can handle, stop by and see us today. We look forward to seeing you at The Point. At the Avenue at Southern, we offer two, three, and four bedroom apartments. Plus, our beautiful clubhouse is open 24-7. It includes movie theater, gym, and more. Live happy at the Avenue at Southern. The Southern Conference title on the line Saturday as the Georgia Southern Eagles host Appalachian State. The Eagles coming in number one. Not the best thing in this matchup as the number one team had lost the last two meetings. The Mountaineers able to start the scoring with the Sam Martin field goal, which makes it three to nothing. Dominique Swope's second concussion of the year kept him out of his second straight game, but Will Banks filling in nicely a good run here. And then a couple plays later, Banks gets the call and he'll dive into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Eagles take a 7-3 lead. Still in the first, Jarek McKinnon going deep for Mr. ESPN Top 10. And yes, another potential Top 10 play grab by Zach Walker. Take another look in slow motion. The one-handed grab, simply amazing. And that would lead to the Banks of beautiful Eagle Creek. Will Banks, the spin move and the score. It's 14-3 Georgia Southern after one. In the second, the Mountaineers get into the end zone. Stephen Miller flying like an eagle, I guess. And it's 14 to 10. Izzy Uyu in at quarterback, and he'll pitch to McKinnon, who turns up field. He finished with 121 yards rushing. That would set up an Alex Hanks chip shot. But this one doinks off the goal post, and it's still 14 to 10. Back on offense, the pitch to Jonathan Bryant, who breaks free 28 yards into Mountaineer territory. A few plays later, the give to Banks for another deposit. His third score of the half. He'd have over 100 yards rushing by halftime, 21-10. The Mountaineer is able to counter on a controversial play. Jamal Jackson to Sean Price who gets to the sidelines. Replay showed he clearly stepped out of bounds at midfield, but no whistle, and he goes 56 yards for the touchdown. It's 21 to 17, Georgia Southern. The Eagles look to respond. McKinnon to Jonathan Bryant for a 39 yard pickup, but from there, the turnover bug bites. The errant pitch results in App State taking over and they turn that into points. Marching downfield and Jamal Jackson to Malachi Jones 24-21. Appalachian State on top. Eagles try and put three more points up before the half to tie things up but Alex Hanks low kick blocked easily and we go to the half with GSU trailing 24-21. To the second half we go. The Eagles on the move. The give to Jonathan Bryant. He'll knife his way through the Mountaineer defense, nearly going all the way. He's down inside the five. After a penalty from the 12, it'll be Izzy Uyu in at quarterback. Keeps it himself. And the Eagles able to regain the lead at 28 to 24. It looked as though they'd add to it as coming up here, a completion to Price, who coughs up the ball. John Stevenson alertly pounces on it at the 20. That drive stalls for the GSU offense. Alex Hanks in for a 26-yard field goal. But again, it's off the mark. His third miss of the game would prove costly. So that's nine potential points from field goal, seven from an out of bounds touchdown and two more here as it looks like Jackson sacked for a safety. But they rule him down at the one foot line. And on the very next play, Jackson going deep and Price able to somehow get behind 
The GSU defense, he'd finish with 231 yards receiving, Jackson nearly 400 yards passing, but it's not resulting in points as the field goal attempt by Sam Martin no good. To the fourth we go, GSU forced to punt, but not forced to interfere with the punt return. That's 15 yards. Tack on another 15 for an unsportsmanlike conduct call after the play, and that's a 30-yard penalty. Jeff Munkin not happy. App State turns that into seven points as Jackson hits Tony Washington, who makes a nice grab. It's 31-28 App State. The Eagles still with a chance. Time winding down and a great play here by McKinnon to find Darian Robinson inside the 30. That drive stalls. Instead of going for the game tying 38 yard field goal, Coach Munkin elects to go for it. Looks like a pretty good decision as Trey Butler picks up the needed yards and then some. But Jonathan Bryant grabbed the face mask of an App State player on the block. It's 15 yard penalty and one final gasp here, but McKinnon's pass will be picked off and the Eagles will drop a heartbreaker by a final count, 31 to 28. 